today's reading is on Jeremiah 17, 5 to 7. Verse 5 of Jeremiah 17 begins with a fair warning. Curse is the one who trusts in man, who draws strength from mere flesh, and whose heart turns away from the Lord. Here, trust is contrasted between relying on human abilities and relying on God. Placing trust in human abilities can often lead to disappointment. Supporting this notion, we find in Psalm 118, 8-9, the declaration, It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in humans. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. Here, the superiority of trusting in God over placing confidence in human beings, including those in positions of authority, is clearly intimated. It is always beneficial to remind ourselves that human strength is finite, subject to weaknesses, emotions, and limitations. Therefore, we must never disregard the presence of God in our lives, for He is the source of everything in this world. If we choose to neglect Him, we may unintentionally turn away from God. We deny our spiritual connection and dependence on Him which always leads to a sense of spiritual emptiness. Moving on to verse 6. Here we encounter a depiction of the consequences of misplaced trust. They will be like a bush in the wastelands. They will not see prosperity when it comes. They will dwell in the parched places of the desert, in a salt land where no one lives. The image reserves as a reminder of the spiritual desolation and barrenness. In the Bible, fruitfulness is often used as a metaphor for spiritual productivity and maturity. Spiritual barrenness, therefore, entails a lack of fruit in one's life, such as love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Galatians 5.22-23 Instead of bearing the fruits of the Spirit, individuals experiencing spiritual barrenness may exhibit characteristics such as apathy, selfishness, and spiritual dryness. Now, turning to verse 7, we encounter a beacon of hope amidst the darkness. But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in Him. Here we are reminded of the immeasurable blessings that come from placing our trust in God. Proverbs, Proverbs 3, 5-6 beautifully encapsulates this sentiment. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your understanding. In all your ways submit to Him and He will make your path straight. This verse assures us that when we trust in God wholeheartedly and submit to His will, He will guide us and provide for us in ways we cannot fathom. In conclusion, brothers and sisters, let us heed the wisdom of Jeremiah 17, 5-7, embracing the profound truth that our trust in God is the foundation of strength and security. May we place our confidence not in the fleeting things of this world, but in the eternal and unchanging faithfulness of our Heavenly Father. God bless us all.